Good day, everyone. Nick Bowditch here. It is nine o'clock on Saturday night here in Australia, so you can uh, judge by that just what sort of wildlife I lead. Here I am. Um, and if anybody else is here at nine p.m. Uh, Sydney Australia time, say good day because you should be out having fun. But anyway, tonight I just I, I get stuff in my head and I can't get it out of my head, and uh, this is my way to get out of it and get it out of me and get it out of my head and get myself out of my head. So um, thank you for taking this time, if you're watching, um, to come along on that ride with me. I saw a Netflix documentary on the plane coming home yesterday, and it was about uh, Barack Obama and, and how, he, how he struggled uh, to get things done with a Congress that was just basically blocking everything he did. And they panned in the Oval Office when he was there, they panned to his desk or to the to the desk in the Oval Office and there was a plaque there and it just said, hard things are hard. And I thought, fuck, how, how right is that, right? Hard things are hard. I, I want things to be given to me. I think, I still want, I still think the world owes me a favour and that I should be given things just because of the hard deal I had as a kid or, you know, opportunities I've missed because of whatever. And I need to just get in my head that actually... Hard things are hard, and when I get them, it means it means I've worked hard for them, you know. So there's a few things in my life that, that is that are hard, you know. Living with a mental illness for me is hard. Um, living with addiction for me is hard, and and certainly living with complex PTSD is very fucking hard. Um, but that uh, that's nothing compared to the the hardship or the or the difficulty I face when I face my biggest challenge at the moment, and that is just trying to be a good leader. I've got some people who are very interested in the stuff that I do, very interested in my writing and my speaking and this sort of stuff and whatever. And I constantly feel like I should be a better leader to those people. I should be um, leading better. I should be more honest, more authentic, more helpful, whatever it might be, you know. And and it just comes back to me all the time that it's, that it's, it's easy to be part of the mob. It's much harder to lead it to lead that mob, and, and that's what I want, you know, so if I'm going to struggle, if I'm going to battle the really hard things in my life, it's going to be for the purpose of being a better leader for the people who see some value in me, see some merit in me, love me, whatever it might be. So I think there's a few things that I really think about and concentrate on to try and be and do to make myself that better leader, right? And the first thing is, I want to go first. I want to be the one who puts my hand up first and says, this is my deal. This is what I'm doing. This is what I live with. This is my situation. This is whatever. And it might be yours too, but unless someone goes first, nobody else is going to have drag that out of them and, and whatever. So the first thing I want to do is go first. The second thing is tied very closely to that. If I go first, then it means I give permission to other people to come, to come behind me to go as well. If, if I'm openly speaking about my trauma history, my, the abuse in my history, if I'm openly speaking about my addiction or my mental illness or my fuck, whatever, then I feel like it just gives permission to other, for other people to put their hand up and go, yep, that's me too. It's not that I have made it all okay because it's me. It's just somebody is saying it to normalize it. The less, the less we're scared of these things, the less we talk about these things, the more we talk about these things, the less scared we'll be of them. The less scared we're of them, the more willing we are to be open and honest about them, right? And then the final three things are really simple. Just be authentic. You know, I just really want to be as authentic as I can to the people who are interested in my content and my thoughts and my words and my books and my writing and my whatever. Because I never, ever, ever want, want one of you to meet me at an event or a conference or something like that and walk away from our meeting going, fuck, what a dickhead. That's nothing like what he, what he puts out on here or, or whatever. Like, I want that to be seamless. I want you to think, when you're reading my book, I want you to feel like I'm sitting in, my, in your lounge room narrating it to you. When you watch this, I want you to feel, like, feel totally assured that when you meet me in person, I'm exactly the same as this. Right? That authenticity is super important to me because it means you trust me and I don't have to think about who I am for everyone. I'm just the same cat for everyone, right? And then the second one is, is if, if these things is just to be vulnerable. It's 
It's really hard to be vulnerable. It used to be very, very hard for me, and it's getting more easy, every, easier every time I speak. Every time I stand up and tell the world about what's going on for me or what went on for me or what happened to me or whatever, it gets easier and easier and easier every time. And so that vulnerability not only breeds sort of safety net in me, but it also is one of those things where I can give permission and go first for other people. And then the last one, I think about this all the time, the, the last sort of tip or something to, to, for people who want to lead, like me, is actually just fucking lead. You know, just put yourself out there, have a crack, tell the truth, be authentic, be vulnerable, get people behind you, and, and most importantly, ask people to come on the journey with you. That's the easiest way to get someone behind you. And I just feel like great leaders often don't get to the point of leading because they do all this work along the way on themselves, becoming, you know, dealing with their shame, dealing with their trauma, their pain, their failure, dealing with their vulnerability, and then at the end they just don't fucking lead. So I'm not, I don't want to fall short on that. You know, I want to be the best version of myself for me. And then after that, everybody else can get the best version of myself for them as well. If I'm not the best version of myself, I'm not useful for anyone else. And I'm not going to be able to lead anyone else. Hard things are hard. And, uh, you know, I've got to stop thinking and hoping and wishing that something easy is going to come to me just because I've earned it or just because the world owes me it or whatever it might be. I hope you've got something out of this. I, I'd love to hear comments on this sort of leading stuff as well. Please uh, put some comments down below and I'll try and get back to you if I, if I can as well and start some conversation around this because I feel like a lot of you, a lot of us, are on the verge of leading, but we just won't go over that last step and actually fucking lead, you know? So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Please comment below. Um, if you're, you know, uh, young and able and it's 9.06 p.m. where you are, uh, please go and have some fun. <laughs> or stay at home and have some fun, whichever, but um, find some kindness today. Spend some of that kindness on yourself. All right. See you guys.